Yeah, I think uh, this season is is so incredible. I, can you actually repeat the question? I was just listening to Dara and just looking at her, and then I completely forgot what the question was. <laughs> Courtney is just, you know, stepping out of her comfort zone this season. Um, she does not do trees. She does not do woods. Very much likes them all to be within walking distance. So it's a little different, but uh, she just learns that it's okay to, you know, step out of your comfort zone, have fun, be vulnerable, and just enjoy the friends that you have. Uh, I was really excited to talk about certain topics with my character, especially uh, anxiety. Uh, she really goes through that this season, and I go through that too. So to be able to bring that to the screen and to show that representation was, was really dope. And, and also bringing some humor to just Courtney this season. I love it. <laughs> you know, EJ's, EJ's got a lot going on this summer. He's, you know, he's at this, this summer camp that he has got a lot of history at. You know, he grew up going to this camp and uh, and this is the camp he met Nini at. So it's uh, it's definitely a lot uh, a lot of history that he has to, you know, to go, go on with. But also he's excited for this new fresh summer and he's kind of wanting to come into the summer with the the thought of like, I just want one last go at just being a kid. And I just want to be a kid and be able to have fun and have fun with my new relationship and all of my friends. And like, then he immediately kind of gets gets hit with the reality that uh, he's got to direct this, this show. So then it, that kind of takes a little bit out of the being able to be a kid aspect of it. So then he kind of has to start focusing on that, which then pulls away from the other things he wanted to focus on. And so, then he starts to get quite overwhelmed with things and, and not really sure how to handle those things. And I feel like he, in a couple moments, starts to kind of revert back to season one, EJ, in, in a couple couple times. But um, overall, I think it's a great season for him. And I think there's a lot for him to learn. I mean, it's exciting to have like an OG of, of any capacity is going to be exciting, right? But to have one that was there for an extended stay and, and you really got a chance to have conversations and get to know them and ask them questions and um, hopefully not bug them too much with <laughs> all of your high school musical questions. But to have uh, Corbin, who was just so sweet and um, just welcoming and fit right in, uh, it, it was a surreal experience. He's been a huge supporter of the show since before it even aired. And so it was really wonderful having his heart and love on screen with us this time instead of just behind the scenes, um, which is, you know, equally as amazing in its own right. But to really see him step into the show and take ownership of who he portrayed was um, really incredible. And I've just I've learned so much from him. He's a he's a real, real professional. It's great. Well, uh, growing up, I had the biggest crush on Corbin Blue. I had him hung up in my walls. I had the merch, everything. So to see him face to face and for him to be the kindest person ever was literally just the most I could ask for. Jason has been with us since season one. So he was already the homie, already set in place. We love Jason. And literally everyone who joined our cast has just brought so much talent, so much joy and just so much new family friendships. Like I, I feel so close to them, even though we were only working together for a short period of time, they had just beautiful, genuinely beautiful souls. Yeah, I, I, I agree with everything she said. And I think specifically like, for me, Corbin was so like, they're all incredible people, but like speaking on Corbin specifically, he's such an amazing person. And like, he is, he is so humble and grounded for being Corbin blue. It's like, it's insane. And he's, he's such a great person. I feel like I, I, I felt every bit of, of, uh, comfortability, I guess, to be able to go up to him and ask for advice on a scene that I'm in with him or uh, something that's not even pertaining to the show, just life advice or uh, acting advice or whatever. I mean, he's like been through it all. He's like experienced a lot. So um, he's such a great person and and he has so much love in his heart and, and he wants to share that and he wants to share the experience that he does have with people and just wants to help people grow and excel and be the best version of themselves. And, and I can't thank him enough for that. And he'll be a friend for, for the rest of my life. Yeah, I think um, both Ashlyn and Carlos are in this moment pretty codependent on their boyfriends. And so it's been really interesting to see how they tackle being alone for the first time in a while um, and having two weeks to themselves without their significant other with them. And um, lots of lots of character development comes from that. So I'm excited for audiences to see what happens. 
Yeah, you know, it's, I think for Carlos, it's definitely a time for just to really kind of focus on himself and kind of figure out where he wants to fit in with the spotlight. Because as we saw last season, he like definitely was in this leading character. And so I think he's carrying some of that over into a new setting and he's wondering how that's going to work out for him. Just in terms of like being outdoors and in the wild and around dust and bugs, I think for me was definitely an adjustment. But it's def um, it's also like at the same time, you're never going to get to have that experience again of just like being in the wilderness with these specific people and singing and dancing. Um, so it was definitely something I like just jumped in and like embraced extremely fun. I I think that being put in these new environments not only challenged our characters in the show, but also like challenged us as, as actors and as friends and how we would bond in this new setting. And we really lived like a true camp life. And we would like, you know, picnic out on the lawn and have lunch together and like get really sunburned and bitten by bugs. And it was like so nostalgic feeling and so wonderful. And it really awakened like this very, um, like childlike sense of joy in, in all of us, which was really fun. 